Good morning, I'm Charlotte Deleste. And I'm Rob Starberg with your Channel 3000.com headlines for Monday morning. Madison's mayor says a dialogue about free speech protesters and police protection could continue following a marijuana march over the weekend. Organizers decided against the extra security after Madison police said they'd charge $200 to $400 for it. The march up State Street to the Capitol was without incident. Organizers say they really didn't need police resources for the couple thousand marchers, but they do fear for other groups that do need them and cannot afford what police are asking for. It's right for them to be conscious of where they spend their money. However, using uh, First Amendment protected peaceful activities as a way to raise revenue seems like a unconstitutional infringement on free speech. Police have charged four groups since April for special duty cops and squad cars. Mayor Paul Soglin says this could send a chilling message to others looking to exercise their First Amendment rights. He says he's going to have a talk with police and the city attorney about the policy. The deer hunting season is nearing and the DNR are now looking for information on any collared and tagged deer that hunters kill this fall. DNR has placed radio collars and ear tags and over 400 deer as part of a deer mortality study. They are fair game for both bow and gun seasons, but hunters are asked to call the DNR to report where they shot the animal. And the soybean harvest is in full swing and farmers are feeling the damage of this summer's drought. Rank Seed Company in Sun Prairie is firing up the combines after the dry growing season and spider mite infestations. Dean Monthy, who does custom harvesting for nearly a dozen farmers in the region, says soybean yields are down about a third from normal years, especially on fields with no irrigation. They're halfway decent and it. For the year we had with no rain, we're happy to have the crop that we do have. It has this trickle down effect that if we have a bad year here, we have less beans to sell for next year and farmers have less beans to plant next year. The harvest at Rank Seed also came about two weeks earlier than in years past. And this has been a Channel3000.com update.